Hey allies, Alan Wake 2 is here and my goodness does it pay exceptionally well on the ROG Ally. I'm really surprised at just how good this is considering how bad it runs on the Steam Deck. This is a breath of fresh air. Now looking at our settings here, running the low default with FSR 2 set to quality. Taking FSR 2 off does look a little bit clearer but it won't hold 30 frames per second unfortunately. But with the 15 watt mode at 720p, we do manage to hold over 30 frames per second and even over 40 frames per second a lot of the time, especially when that boost kicks in. Once that GPU boost drops down and the APU sits at around 15 watts, then it does stick around the 30 to 35 frames per second mark. This is phenomenal for the power of the ROG Ally, but it is running that at 720p. Obviously, you are still going to be taking quite a lot out of the battery, so you are still going to want to be fairly close to a power source or only playing for an hour to an hour and a half max before you're going to run out of battery. So if you are going to plug this one in, we do have a couple of options. And fortunately, this gets even better with the 30 watt mode. We can up this to 900p. Obviously, you can push 1080p if you want, but 900p is giving us a really good result here. So at 30 watts, we can actually increase this to medium quite happily. And we do still want FSR2 quality. But a note, if you're switching between graphics modes or resolutions, it doesn't auto scale the FSR2. So you'll see here that even on medium settings, that looks a little bit off, a bit more blurry than we'd expect with FSR2 quality. That's because it actually maintained the previous render resolution on FSR2. So make sure if you switch resolutions that you come back into the settings and reselect your FSR2 quality mode. And as you can see now, it's looking much clearer. And again, we're pushing 30 to 40 frames per second a lot of the time now with medium settings. This looks absolutely gorgeous on the Ally screen and is a great way to be playing the game. So if you are able to stay plugged in or you have a decent power bank so that you can run this at 30 watts, then you are going to be able to run medium settings very happily at 900p. If you don't know how to set the 900p mode up, then we'll put a link in the description below. So you can get that configured and also we do have the CPU boost disabled so it's eking out just that little bit more for the GPU. So although it does get down to 30 occasionally with a lot of stuff going on you will barely notice it and if you don't have the FPS up you're just going to have a fun time with this game. Now if you do want to go all out on the graphics front this is available on GeForce now and as you can see with the side by side footage here it's quite a graphic bump and not only that we will save a ton of battery as well as we're able to run this at under 10 watts. You can see the GeForce Now footage on the right here with similar things going on in the battle. It really is much clearer now. If you have the Ultimates here, which is what I'm running here from GeForce Now, huge thanks to GeForce Now and Epic Games as well as Remedy Entertainment for giving us a key to test this one out. We can run full ultra settings at 1080p with full ray tracing as well. And because we're streaming it from GeForce now, we can even drop the APU down to 10 watts. So you'll get hours of battery life on this if you are away from power. And just look how clear this is. The ray tracing effects are phenomenal in this game. And on the Ally screen, especially at 1080p with those front facing speakers, this is extremely immersive and beautiful looking on the Ally itself. So if you do have stable internet, then GeForce Now is a fantastic way to be playing this on your Ally, as you'll be holding a perfect 60 frames per second easy. And you can actually increase the frame rate over to 120 on the Ally, and you can push around 70 to 80 frames per second on Alan Wake 2 if you want. But 60 frames per second is more than enough to stay stable and clean and have a fantastic time with this game. If you are interested in GeForce Now, I'll put a link in the description below so you can hop over there and see your pricing options. You can test it out for free, but you won't have the full ray tracing experience. Let's send comments below if you're diving into Alan Wake 2 and what settings you're playing. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.